and that brings up the collective. I press that one, which brings up the overhead, and the other one brings up the radio and the hydraulic system. Okay, the hydraulic control boost, okay, which is that switch there, should should go on. Fuel valve, which is which is there, now goes on. Confirmed on the on the main on the main panel. Fuel circuit breaker and the generator reset circuit breaker. The master the master battery is is on and I press the mute switch to can to cancel. I lift the collective lever, observe, observe the warning horn sound and then lower. The enunciator test button is actually pressed to check to, to, to check and you can see all the captions alight. Over temperature button is pressed. The fuel boost aft circuit breaker and the fuel boost forward circuit breaker. The anti-collision light is set to on. I ensure that the throttle is fully closed. I place my thumb on the starter and depress. The turbine end one is rising to 15 producer. I'm looking for 15% on the gas producer. The throttle is open. You will see, in fact, that the N1 is increasing now through 50% up to 58%, of which the engine will now self-sustain. I watch N2 and the rotor RPM rise. I increase to 70% and the avionics can go on. Close to check that everything is working as, as it should as it should be. Now very gradually open the, the throttle. So we have a hundred percent on both the turbine N2 and NR, which the, the rotor. Okay, it's now stabilized. Hover taxi to holding point runway 09 via hotel hotel Zulu and Golf QH 1013. Helicopter Golf Delta Oscar Delta Oscar. We depart to the north. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to discuss your flight simulator requirements, then please ring me, Bob Sidwick, on 01179 715000.